are you running across any uh, variable annuities that you're maybe moving money out of? Is that an issue because you're not series licensed or anything like that with being able to look at the product that you're currently in and that will serve you? Yeah. Very smart question, very smart question. Can, can you move partial? Now I'm gonna give you a story about what happened. So uh, variable annuities are the ugly stepchild of the annuity business. They're, they can only be sold by a uh, a series. person that has a Series 7 license. They are generally the worst product a client will ever be put in. Uh, what it does is it, is it allows for loss and it allows, and the, the, the financial service advisor gets paid and then he gets management fees on it. So it's the triple dip that I don't, I can see why they write it. I mean, if somebody's writing me a commission up front and I'm writing 1.5% management fees to watch that thing go down 20%, and they'll be very proud of you. Oh, we have we have a 20% floor on your product. You can only lose 20% of your money. How do these guys justify that decision when you can put them in a better product that you can't manage? Put them in a better product that has zero opportunity for loss on their money. But get to the story. Bonnie Sweeney in Seattle, 798 thousand dollars with a frail little woman that did not like her financial advisor. I mean, hated her, scared her. She was a bully. And uh, in order to move that transaction, we had to move all of it. I said, Bonnie, you are not Series 7 licensed, so would you get big girl pants on, get your brass hubris orbs going here, because we're gonna do something. <laughs> we're gonna do this transfer of paperwork, and we're gonna send it to the office in New York. When it arrives there, three days later, you're going to get your client on the phone and you're going to have her liquidate the account in full before it ever gets sent to the financial advisor that did it. It worked. She got paid. And we had the maddest finan female financial advisor I'd ever heard. She was threatened. I'm surprised she didn't come to the phone and went after me. But boy, did it feel good. It was right. <laughs>